Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Here on Thursday morning, November 5th, 2015, here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Feeling like fall, and this is my last day in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and I got time to squeeze out two more little rantlets. Both of them from the mainstream media last night. I've already been over the most important story in the mainstream media, uh, but I can't give away the punchline, so I uh, suggest if you want to find out the most important story of the 100 top stories on the planet, you go find my rant I called How to Get Your Fat Guilty Ass stabbed to death in Texas. But that was the most important one, but running a close second is this story from my friends at the Christian Science Monitor in turn <clears throat> talking and summarizing a story apparently that came out in the New York Times for, for anybody who is failing to grasp that uh, about the complete horseshit surrounding not just specifically these UN climate talks, but any sort of, uh, of facts and figures coming out of the United Nations, particularly as it refers to carbon emissions, and deforestation are, are the two that come to mind, although I'm sure there's uh, many more examples about the, uh, all of this unadulterated horseshit uh, about how much uh, carbon's going up in the damn air on this planet. Nobody has any clue, and, and it's pretty much the same uh, with deforestation. And the reason for this, as, as I've said, till I'm blue in the face, all of these figures coming out of the UN, they are based on self-reporting from the countries. How many countries are in the UN? Is it 192 or whatever? We have 192 foxes guarding 192 hen houses. And of course, the two biggest foxes and the two biggest hen houses would be the good old United States of America and of course our friends and fellow planet eaters, China. China. Why, why anybody uh, on this planet would believe one word coming out of the government of China's mouth. Hell, why anyone would believe one word coming out of uh, out of Barack Obama's mouth is, is is shocking enough. But why anybody? Why Minnie Mouse? Do you believe one goddamn word coming out of the Chinese government about how they are saving the planet? Minnie Mouse, the little Chinese immigrant Minnie Mouse, let, letting you know uh, not to believe one goddamn word. So anyway, getting to the story. <coughs> Report. China is burning way more coal than we thought. A report from the New York Times says China is burning a billion tons, a billion tons more coal than previously thought. What does this mean for the country's goal to reach an emissions peak by 2030? Caution detected. Take precautions. <clears throat> 
China is emitting far more pollution from coal than the government has previously reported according to the New York Times. The Times reports that the country has in fact been burning 17 percent more coal annually than what's thought equating to a billion more tons of coal burned in China every year. One billion tons. Just, just slip in through the cracks. Imagine that. One billion tons. Now, I'm not going to get off on this separate route. You, you've got to remember what percentage of those billion tons of extra coal, that, that, that the little oops billion tons. Oh, that billion tons. Well, we didn't think you were talking about that billion tons. That was the billion tons of coal we burned to make shit like plastic dancing mini mouses to sell to American consumers. Oh, and so if you're talking about that billion tons of extra coal, why don't you put it on your own goddamn ledger, Barack Obama? We never would have burned that extra lost billion tons of coal every year if we didn't have so many orders to fulfill for dancing mini mouses. Minnie Mouse, did you burn that extra one thousand, one million, one billion, whatever the hell it is, tons of coal last year in China? Yes, Hambun. I personally burned that one billion tons of coal last year. I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me? Can I dance for you? I'm <clears throat> getting back to the weather. Well, it's a Christian Science Monitor of the New York Times. Anyway, what were we just saying? Okay, equating to a billion more tons each year. That increase, that that extra, oops, one billion tons of coal. That increase alone is equal to about seventy percent. Seventy percent of what the world's second largest coal polluter. Who is the world's second largest coal polluter? Would that be India? If you said India, the crouching tiger, you would be wrong. The world's second largest coal polluter, the United States, consumes every year. While China has pledged to stall growth in its carbon emissions by 2030. This new development poses serious challenges to that goal and broader efforts to address climate change. But why were emissions so drastically underreported in the first place? According to the Times, inadequate data collection, inadequate data collection may be the culprit. Yeah, it's the inadequate data collection at the United Nations. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Uh, so, uh, China, how many billions of tons of coal did you burn last year? Oh, okay, thank you. We'll, we'll jot that down and we'll send this uh, out there to the, to the mainstream media and any other clueless moron swallowing your unadulterated horseshit. Anyway, guys, uh, I was going to combine this rant, uh, th this devouring dragon rant, with the crouching 
tiger rant, uh, the latest news out of India. But you know what? I'm running a little uh, experiment here on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So I'm going to make the crouching tiger rant a separate rant for my last rant from the Santa Cruz Mountains. For this rant, this is your little your, your little coal burning Chinese immigrant Minnie Mouse saying 